15 on Sosnoka, the gold edition map from Farming Simulator. And we are bailing straw this episode. Or at least starting out that way anyway. Got the uh, John, John Deere brown baler here again. And I already finished bailing up field 19 already. That field is all bailed. Need to uh, pick up the bales on it yet. Don't uh, take us too long here to bale this field. Not a very large field. If the cows actually need any straw yet or not. And like I mentioned the last time we used this baler, uh, it does produce what appears to be normal sized bales for Farming Simulator, but they are actually uh, large or capacity wise with 6,000 instead of the 4,000. So same size bales, but just have more in them. Maybe, you know, we got a high density John Deere baler here maybe or something, I don't know, but half done actually once we finish this one. Oh, not quite, quite felt there. Okay. And at least with this tractor as well, I noticed you can actually watch it in the mirror. So you know when to uh, close it again. I'll uh, go that here the next uh, in a full bale. And you watch in the mirror there, you can see it go up. I guess we can't see the bale roll out this time. Usually you can see the bale a little bit. Probably depends if you're a little bit straighter or a little bit crooked, maybe. Not a whole lot of straw here. Quite another full bale. Oh well. Close enough, I guess we'll say. That off, raise it up. Oh, it's actually kind of cool. I don't know if folks saw that or not, but it actually kind of has like a slow wind it down time there. It just doesn't you know, stop completely there. I had to go double check that it's like, did I actually shut that off? Oh, yes, I did. It actually just has a wind down time. So just come to a complete boom stop. Okay, 
parked out there and I've got the case over here lined up with our bale trailer already. And also I do have hired worker and a course play driver going working on chopping. I'm assuming they're uh, still working yet, so that's good. Uh, obviously not a whole lot done yet. Um, remember to check up on the uh, course play worker a little more often. They've been getting stuck over here a lot. Like a ridiculously amount a lot. Don't know why or what's going on this time around, but and it's not uh, not like they're getting stuck on trees or anything. They're just getting stuck turning around. I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, And like I mentioned before, same bail trailer we have on the multiplayer server here. Nice thing about this bail trailer, it supports multiple sizes of round bales. So, get a round baler that produces different sizes. Trailer should be able to pick them up. Now in this case, I don't think we actually have to worry about this. I'm pretty sure you can pick these up with the in-game round bale trailer. Like I said, I believe these are the same size as the in-game round bales. Not capacity-wise, but uh, overall size-wise, as far as the uh, game considers them anyway. The cows here. Rations. Oh, look at that. We've got a lot of mixed rations. Uh, we should I probably check and see if the mixing station has any straw as well. Blinking red. What does it need? Why did I just get a up and up there? I wonder if it's because I'm standing next to that, or is there a straw bale in here? Why is that showing that there? That's kind of weird. Okay, what do you need? Oh, you definitely need some straw. Like, uh, you pretty much need everything, including some brass. Okay. In that case, if we need brass, let's see if I have them in a group somewhere. I do. Get our Colossus Zero on here back to work. I was mentioning I wasn't sure if this would be a large enough grass field or not there, but I think we're okay with it. So, 11, oh, and we'll just have to go to the first point. Hopefully, you can make it from here. Okay, I was going to bring this to the cows, but we'll bring this to the mixing station here first. I'm not exactly sure the best way to go about unloading this, so. Back up, I guess, and then we'll hit five. Around here, gear. I have the other side. This should pretty much fill the mixing station up, I believe, with eight bales, if my math is correct. Anyway, it's uh, six thousand each bale times eight, forty-eight thousand. And people say math isn't important, eh? farming simulator you need math okay let's go pick up the rest of the bales here just 
uh, two veils remaining here. That's not a whole lot. Okay. And we got a few on this field yet. Might be able to fill this up yet. Probably got six bales on here, I think. Like exactly six bales. Hey, look at that. Why don't you like it when that works out? Okay, that did not work out. Yeah, we'll just come back around for that. You do have to be fairly precise with your driving with this. I have noticed you can't, you know, get too far away and it won't work, so. And by the way, the arms do automatically lift and automatically pick up the bale. I'm not uh, doing anything to actually pick up these bales, for those of you wondering. Just uh, drive up to it. And as soon as it gets it, it just picks it up. So I'm not having to push any keys, for those of you wondering. It just automatically picks up the bales. Okay, and the cows got 40,000. Doubt they'll take all of the straw, but we'll see how much they'll take. Mixing station obviously won't take a whole lot more. It actually might take another bale, but it'll probably just waste it. So definitely rather not give it to the mixing station. Don't mind us cows, we're just gonna drive through. <laughs> not drive through here anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, apparently, with the uh, update, they fixed that. Oh, so, in that case... I might not be able to get them straw now. Uh, let's see what's here. Can I see the triggers? Now, here's the problem with this. You can turn this mode on, you can see the triggers, that's all great and all, but... <laughs> what do these triggers actually go to? That's the whole problem. Uh, we might be able to. I don't see a trigger over here anymore. Okay. Yep. Let's see if we can give it inside the building then. Otherwise, we might be kind of screwed with our straw set up here. Something I did not quite anticipate. Unless there's a gate in the yard here somewhere I'm missing. Kinda doubt it. I don't think farming or giants does that type of thing. Okay, let's drop that one. Unlock the bale. Oh, we can. Excellent. Okay, so we can spread the bale here now. Previously, unless I was doing something wrong, you could not spread the bale here. Pick that one back up. And then we'll do seven, four, and five. Nice quality A plus draw there. Okay, they took all those bales. Back up, come back around, and one's on this side.
unlock, and can we raise it up? Good. Okay. Oh, that one bale. Let's see what's if that's going to be a problem. We'll see if they actually even take all this straw. That'll be interesting to see. Close there. Oh, that might be it. They're not, uh, not being able to spread that one. Unless it's in the wrong spot, which is possible. But I'm betting it's full. 76,000. Yeah, it doesn't really say, you know, okay, the animals have reached uh, maximum capacity, or that's, you know, straw for the six days feeding time. It just also, you cannot not spread it anymore, so. He's back up here a minute. Actually, you know what? I cannot leave him on here because he'll just fall off. Uh, maybe we'll drop by the mixing station. And of the mixing station, that actually might take them. Might be a bit of a waste, but probably better than him just sitting around. Um, okay. Try that again. Okay. Uh, put it down, put it down. Uh, okay, that's weird. That can I back up as soon as I, uh... Oh, come on now. Let it down for the... Okay, now stop picking them up. Now that I got the bale stuck there. There we go. Okay. Next time the mixing station needs some straw, hopefully I'll just pick that up then and get rid of it for us. Like I said, probably be a bit of a waste, but oh well. Okay, we get the uh, bale trailer here parked back up, and then we'll go grab the wind rower. Should be enough grass mode by now, I would think. I got that parked over in the other uh, barn over here. Don't die. At least I think I do anyway. Yes, I do. Got the wind rower, loading wagon, and the uh, manure spreaders over here. And speaking of manure spreaders, I do want to look at getting possibly some sort of transport for manure rather than having to haul those Get our manure spreaders back and forth to the farm. Now looking out the cab of this tractor looks so much different compared to some of the four-wheel drive tractors in the game. The tires on the front just seem so small. a little heavy or something. Kind of throwing the tractor around there a bit. Okay, what the world? Horse play. Get lost, please. You are screwing the game up. Okay, field 11. And let's see what's here. Yeah, we should be able to run this, I think. It has reached a waiting point. Okay, what, um, are you in the wrong, oh yes, you're in the wrong mode, okay. Let's see, field work mode. Now drive the course. 
not sure why he said he reached a waiting point. I don't see any waiting points on this uh, particular course. Okay, now that, that we got that going, I want to go actually go check out some field prices, in particular, field 18 out there by the biogas plant, and maybe 22 and 17 as well. So, I actually added to a group. I did, okay, group eight. Now, do I dare disconnect this? Actually, you know what, uh, where's the cell point? L point for her straw, or not straw, wool, I mean. Okay, where's the L point for wool? Ah, uh, uh, oh, there it is, okay. So kind of on our way anyway. We we'll also just take this then. I believe the load is locked. Guess we'll find out. Uh, start sliding around like it is. We know it's not locked. Okay. See if it's locked now, because I just uh, pushed the button again. Hopefully we uh, don't lose it somewhere along the way, because that would really suck. Go this way. Okay. I'll just stay in this uh, few here, make sure we uh, keep an eye on our wool. Okay, we'll just uh, pass this person here. here. Definitely, I'll have to say, it seems like uh, farming with them uh, giants there has kept up the effort there on the detail for their maps. Okay, somewhere around here we call straw, or called straw, uh, wool apparently. Yep, that looks like that's the spot for selling wool. Uh, Classic Zero has finished work. Okay, let's uh, go pull him off the field here a minute. Way. And you uh, park you off to the side here. And on our merry way. That just should be field. Right here, right? No, 18. Okay. Yep, 18. Okay, what kind of fuel prices? Uh, 193. Okay, we can afford that. Bought. And. Now we're over here, I'm thinking about 22 as well. See how that's like right next to the biogas plant. Okay, we'll buy that one as well, and I think we'll uh, call that quits for a few buying for the moment. I have to think about this. Maybe we'll buy one more yet. We'll have to see once. I think that's enough for now, though.
actually maybe in case I do decide to buy another field, we'll leave this truck here for the moment. Oh, we have another full pallet of wool, so... Uh, Classic Zero and watches some sort of dance over here, I guess. Okay, and read a couple of comments here. Quick a moment from last episode. Uh, Kyle was saying, don't complain about uh, 30 FPS. That's pretty good. Uh, not in my opinion, that's not. <laughs> 30 FPS is crap. If you ask me, I'm pretty much used to 60. Which is interesting. I, I'm going to have to look into that. I've been stuck at 30 here lately, so I don't know what's up with that. Ever since the, uh, having the trouble on the server there. Not sure what is up with that. But typically, I run a nice steady 60s, so. Oh, yeah, for me, running 30 is uh, kind of unacceptable. Okay. Dump that off. Uh, Matthew was saying he's from Michigan, and he was saying that Michigan there doesn't look at all like Michigan. Doesn't need a little more hill, and a lot less trees. Then it would be on point. But I'd have to say that depends where you are in Michigan. Uh, where I live in particular, there's actually quite a few trees. Like, a lot of trees. And it is actually where I live, right where I live, it's actually quite hilly. But if you go down the road, like, go four or five miles, then it's, like, completely flat. So, depending on where you are in Michigan, I would say the Michigan map is pretty well spot on. I mean, I guess, depending on where you're at, the Michigan map could probably actually represent several different states. You know, wide, mostly flat, trees sprinkled around. Um, forest area that has a large group. Okay, disable that. And I'll head over to the starting point here. here don't believe I've actually driven the uh, classic zero on here yet Okay, folks, so that I think we'll actually wrap up the episode there. Probably uh, come back next episode here and finish picking up this grass. And hopefully keep uh, keeping an eye on our hired workers. There. I've been kind of watching the speed. I suppose I probably wouldn't hurt to actually go over and check them, but I see he's going 6.2 miles an hour. So I figure if I see that, they're still working yet. But anyway, folks, have any comments or questions, be sure to them below and as always thanks for watching and until next time